This is the next page of Hoedown at the Holidays for violas. Um, really tricky rhythms on this page, but if you can kind of speak them out or listen to them and parrot them back, I think you'll be okay. Some of the notes are tricky because you do have C sharps on the G string because we did change keys. We were normally in G major and now we're in D major. So normally that's not a problem. We love D major, but here it becomes problematic when we have to do high three on G string. So um, looking at measure 39, where you have A, A, D, A, C sharp. It's that rhythm that we had in the beginning, but now with different notes. Again, so you have A, A, D, A, high three, C sharp. Then A, 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 D, E, C sharp. Always be prepared to reach third finger. So if you watch, I'm kind of always preparing in the air. Yeah? so that you can really make sure that third finger is getting ready to beat C sharp. Then you go to an open D, yay. And, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one. Make sure you're counting one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one. It also has accents over top of those notes so that it kind of makes the rhythm sound more interesting. <laughs> So by accenting, I'm just kind of putting an emphasis with some more weight on my bow, okay? So after 43, you've played D, 2, 3, 4, and then you're about to play on the offbeat. So you have rest, D, rest, D, rest, D, A. That's rest, D, rest, D, rest, D, A. Bum, 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 bum. The best thing I could say to you is tap your foot. Get the metronome out, use a pencil on a stand, and have your beat going. If you can pat on your body or tap your foot, you can physically feel the pulse, so you become the metronome in a way, and that might also help you speak out your rhythm. D, B, G, A, ba, 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 bum, and then you also have to be able to continue that on. So from 43, you have D, ba, 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 Ba 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 If you can bonus points do the counting you'd have um at forty-three. So that shows you that sometimes you have an extra eighth note that you play on the and, and it happens to be a C sharp. So from 43, you have playing D, two, three, four, rest, D, rest, D, rest, G, A, one, two, three, four, then rest, A, rest, D, rest, D, B, C sharp. So starting at 46, three, four, one. Then back to D, rest, D, E, C sharp, D, E, at 47, that's D, E, D, E, D. So those notes really aren't that tricky as long as you're playing at the right time. Just watch those C sharps. Going to measure 49, you have rest, D, D, rest, rest, A, A, A. So you have rest, 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 D, A, D, A, C sharp. You practice that at 39. Then 51 is the same thing as 40, not, sorry, 51 is the same thing as 40, but they add an extra note. So you have um, rhythmically, anyway, not with the notes, my bad. <laughs> I was thinking, I think, of the second violin part. So at, um, at 50, you have D, A, D, A, C sharp, then you have rest, A, C sharp, E, D, E, C sharp, F. That's a tricky one. I'd practice it in rhythms. So that's long versus short. You could do the opposite. Right? You could play it multiple times. Then three times. Two times. Then once. You can play it in as many different rhythms or ways that you want to, isolating that measure so that you really understand those notes. 
if all else fails and in orchestra you're playing and you suddenly get to measure 50 and you play, I don't know what I'm playing there, then come in at 52, okay? Um, because 52 is a spot that you're probably going to find is easier than 51, okay? Um, but don't play notes that already happened and don't play notes that haven't happened yet because you have to be together and that's the trick with orchestra, right? Um, and if you can't get that measure then it's one measure out of a million, right? So don't worry that much about it. But at 52, you have part of Joy to the World that's been jazzed up a little bit more. So you have F, A, G, F, F, E, D, F, F, A, G, F, F, E, D, F. If you can speak that on repeat, F, A, G, F, F, E, D, F, F, A, G, F, F, E, D, F, or ba, 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 you should be fine to play it. Because that's just F A G F F E E F. Then at 54 you have ba 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 da ba 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 ba. It's another syncopated rhythm. that you're focusing on is probably that four. Yeah, A, 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 or G, 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 which is what you have to play. So you have and that's the melody, right? At 56, you have G, I, G, F, E, D, D. So at 54, you have this next segment is all on open D. Um, at 57, this is the rhythm from um, the hoedown from Rodeo, Byron Copeland. They took that rhythm. It's one and two e and three and a four and one e and a two and three and four e and a one and yeah and those rests that come after that are very important very iconic so at 57 you have but you have to go to an f sharp there so one more time at 57 that's one and two have to airbow that while you speak it out. One and two e and three and a four and one e and a two and three and four e and a one and. So you can practice it before you use the notes. Then you rest for two and a half beats. Two, three, four. Again that's that a a a a a a a a a a but you have a b right before as a pickup before measure 60 so you have one, two, three, Four. And then lots of open D's at 61. Accents. Each year counting. And two and three and four and C sharp. That should look familiar because that is exactly 39 and 40. And then you have joy to the world. Last two measures are rest. So if I were to play for you from 39 to the end, if you can play with me, awesome. If you can't, maybe just listen so you hear the rhythms better. It should sound like this: two, three, four. Rest.
hoedown part of hoedown at the holidays. So it does have to be a decent speed, okay? It can't be really slow, okay? Um, so try to really make sure that you're able to move those fingers lightly and fast, right? In your left hand and your right hand, just be ready to move the bow around and really have those rhythms, muscle memorized, okay? Um, play them on an open string. Make sure you can sing them out loud. Really focus on the second page, being able to speak things out loud, being able to tap your rhythm or tap the steady beat and speak your rhythm. Because the more that you really feel it in your body, right, or know it in your head, the easier it's going to be to play on your instrument. But if you can't even clap the rhythm or you can't even speak it or say it, there's no way that you're going to have an idea as to what to do here, okay, when you have to add notes to it as well. So do all that you can. I mean, I wouldn't take the whole entire page and try to play it from start to finish yet. You really need to break it down and figure out what those rhythms are. So hopefully this helps you. If not, you have your lessons. Um, but take it slow at first and then try to do things in rhythms or multiple times or to get it faster, okay? All right, good luck.